Okay, where have we been? We talked about an angle. Okay, uh, how to name it. I would always name it with three letters where the middle letter has to be, remember what we called that middle letter? Where the two rays meet of an angle, what do we call that point? Begins with a V, ends in earth X. Good, you guys are good. You guys are good, nice. I didn't need to spot it that much. Called the vertex. I name it with three letters. Middle letter is the vertex. Uh, we constructed a angle congruent to a given one. All right. Uh, you may not remember the steps, but I'm going to show you something I posted in our classroom in a couple minutes that'll help you remember everything. Uh, let's see, different types of angles, right angle, of two, straight angle, we all went over. And then we got to this, which was congruent angles. All right. Uh, you don't have to copy this down. I just want to make sure we are all good. Let's say I have this diagram right here. And I have angles one, two, and three. And I say, hey, guys, angles two and three are congruent. What did we put for markings to show two angles are congruent? Because you're going to start to see this today. Grace? Um, you put, like, circle things. I don't know. I, I, yeah, it's fine. I call them arc marks. So you're going to start seeing this. On a diagram, if you see that, that means that they're congruent. Two is congruent to three. And remember how we wrote angle symbol, angle two, congruent to angle three. Okay. All good? All right, so that's just a quick review of uh, what we did on Monday. Now, where I really want to spend some time today and finish the notes is on bisector, because I think I went through that too fast for you guys. Bisector. It's a ray that cuts the angle into two congruent angles. Okay, a ray that cuts an angle into two congruent angles. And what I did with you guys on Monday was we took angle BAC and we just drew it in. I said, take, here you go, here's A, here's X, here's ray AX, right? And I believe you guys told me, did we write down? Yes, we did. You guys told me that angle BAX was congruent to angle XAC. And I think, did we mark them too on the diagram? Yes, we did with the arc marks, offset them. All right. Now I want to show you how to use your compass to cut an angle in half. All right. I want to show you how to use your compass. So what I'd like you to do right now is just draw freehand to the right. It looks like you guys got room to the right of our diagram here. Go ahead and just draw your own angle right now. Anybody have a preference for letters? What do you want me to call this angle? Good talk. There's 26 options. You pick three of them. G. I need three letters, though. Okay, I'll put G at the vertex. X. X. Y. Oh, Y. Good. There we go. Angle X, G, Y. That's the first time I've ever taught an angle with that. All right, I want to cut it in half using your compass and straight edge only. All right, so everyone agrees we're going to have a ray here that goes through. All right, everyone, take your compass now. If you have it with you, take your compass, try to have it with you every day, put it on the vertex, put it on the vertex, which would be what? What's the vertex here? G, good, put it on the vertex. And you're gonna make an arc through both rays. Okay, put your compass point on the vertex G, make an arc through both rays. Boom. How many points of intersection do you have now? Two. Two. Put your compass point on one of them. Put your compass point on one of the points of intersection. And what you're going to do is above that first one, you're never going to make it intersect, so don't try. Above the first one, you're just going to make uh, another arc. So put your point on one, one of the points of intersection of your rays. Make an arc. Leave your compass opening the same. And go to the other point of intersection on the other ray and make a second arc that intersects or third arc that intersects the second one. So I call this little fireworks action. You can leave your compass the same opening the entire time, but for the last two, it definitely needs to be the same opening. Okay. So again, I went from one point of intersection, drew an arc, second point of intersection, drew a third arc that intersected each other. Little fireworks. Everyone see the fireworks? Yeah, good. Grab your straight edge. And line it up with your vertex and the point of intersection. And draw in your bisector. 
You guys take your time. If you're still working, take your time. And there we go. You just can create an angle bisector. And what can we put on the diagram to show that it is actually cutting in into two congruent angles? Arc, Arc marks on both sides, right? So here we go. Let me know. Actually, no, it's fine. I won't call on anybody yet. I'm going to put two just to make sure it's clear. What I'm marking is congruent. You can still put one and offset them. All right, but I'm just going to put two so it looks very clear. Everyone all right? Okay. I realize, and I do feel, you know, the, the small little piece of a heart that I have that's probably covered in ice anyway, has a little bit of sympathy for you guys on this as far as constructions go. I know I throw a lot of constructions at you. You have no idea through the course of the year how many we're going to do, but hasn't it seemed like we've done a lot already with your compass? And how are you going to remember all these steps, especially when you're at home doing this on your own? So what I have created on Classroom, hopefully it, uh, you'll take advantage of it. Just period. There you go. So what I've created on Classroom, if you go all the way down to the bottom, is construction help and how-to videos. Not from the internet. These are created by myself and the other honors geometry teacher, Ms. Venezia, who, uh, whose classroom is downstairs. You go to her YouTube page, and on there is every single construction we do during the year. So let's say tonight, tomorrow night, whatever the case, over the weekend, you have to do a construction on angle bisector. All right, so let's go through here. Angle bisector. There's copying an angle if I ever need that. Uh, angle bisector. Boom, you click on it, step by step, how to do the angle bisector, just as we I've taught it in class. Okay? Questions there? So please access this through the entire year. It's up on Classroom. It'll be there forever. Look at that, 124 views on angle bisector, huh? 142. Two -third, wow, 269 equilateral triangle. That must be a tough one, huh? What do we got? Anybody beating 269? Probably not. No. All right. All good? Okay. All right. So there it is. Constructing an angle bisector. Do we forget constructing? Do we understand the concept of what an angle bisector does? Takes an angle, cuts it into two congruent ones. All right. Because that's pretty darn important when we get to these algebra questions. We already did example one, correct? Okay, uh, real quickly, I know it's on your diagram already, but remember the directions. KN bisects LKM. We just need to get to the point where we know, oh, angle bisector cuts it in half. Put some darn markings on your diagram now. And I know they're already there, but LKM is being cut in half by KN. So we, this is why we put the arc marks there on Monday, because those two are congruent if it's an angle bisector. Questions from you guys? All right, let's do number two since we already did example one. NKL, 7X plus 9. Let's fill it in. Follow the letters. Follow the letters. Ready? NKL. Do you see the angle they're talking about? 7X minus 9. This one's going to be a tough one. JKM. Follow the letters, everybody. J to K to M. Everyone see that angle? X plus 3. What is the measure in degrees of JKN? Everyone see JKN? J to K to N. Hey, from here to here, this angle here, right? You don't have to do this, but what is the measure of that angle in degrees? Ooh, boy, huh? We've got some work to do, kids. 
Oh boy. I don't want to say anything. I, I, I don't want to say anything. I, I want to hear from you guys. So just throw, throw stuff out there. If it's wrong, who cares? You know what? You have the guts to raise your hand and say something. All right. Anybody want to throw anything out there before we start here? Uh, Maisha, go ahead. Um, if 7x minus 9 is like congruent to like the other side, you can just Good. add those two. Okay. Let me stop there. See those congruent marks? They're the same measure. So if one 7x minus 9, what can I put on the other one? 7x minus 9. All right, let's put it there then. If they're congruent, they're equal in length, so that's got to be 7x minus 9. All right, there's one piece. Keep that ball rolling now. How else can I? Because, hey, everyone agrees I need to find x to do this problem. You can't, you can't just say 7x plus 9 plus x plus 3 and get 10x minus 6. Like, this can't be my answer, 10x minus 6. I need measure in degrees. What's that angle measure? 20 degrees, 80 degrees, 120. That's what I need. So to do that, I'm going to need the value of x. So I need to set up an equation somehow. What's up, Kevin? You could do x plus 3 plus 7x minus 9 plus 7x minus 9 equals 180. 180? He just spouted 180? Why is he saying 180? Grace, why is he saying 180? Because the in, the measure of the, the flat line is 180. Flat line? The, just the line. The line. Okay, right. It's like when kids say straight line. Well, they're, they're all straight. I got it. thinking of, you know, the one of you want. I'll just go with it. Good job. Yeah. That's a straight angle, right? JKL is a straight angle. And we know straight angles measure how many degrees? 180. There it is. Good job, Kevin. Here you go. So that's going to be our equation. x plus 3 plus 7x minus 9 plus 7x minus 9. And I got to do it. Sorry. I'm doing it in the wrong spot. x plus 3 plus 7x minus 9 plus 7x minus 9. Yes, equals a buck 80. All right, go ahead, solve. Let's solve for x. Take your time. We got 15x. How do my numbers look here? Oh boy, negative 18 and 3, negative 15. for x okay and again I'll compliment you here a lot of you guys did a nice job on the quiz where a couple questions you found x but you realized you needed to plug it back in before you found the final answer good same thing here now now I'm going to take x I'm going to plug it in for x plus 3 and 7x minus 9 because I need the value of jkn jkn so I need to plug it into x plus 3 and I need to plug it into 7x minus 9 so let's do that so angle JKN is going to be equal to 13 plus 3 plus 7 times 13. Everywhere I see an X, I'm plugging in 13. What do you end up with? What's on that? 98. 98 degrees. Okay. All right there. 
start looking for straight angles that add to 180. That's going to be help, helpful to you in these algebra problems. Anything I can answer? We okay? One more you said? Sure. One more. Slide left. Oh, we got to draw our own diagram here, kids. Let's draw our own diagram. So everybody dripping out. Hey, notice the directions. Draw, right? Which means put your darn compass down, right? If it said construct, then we need it. But it just says draw. So do your best artistic ability right now and draw angle BAC for me. What are you going to put at the vertex of your angle? Hey, hey there we go. Angle BAC. Such that AX is an angle bisector. So everyone's drawing in AX. And hopefully from there, you're also marking your diagram. If you know it's a bisector, get in that habit. Mark the darn diagram. All right, mark it. Good job marking. You guys are putting in your arc marks, hopefully, that says these two angles are congruent. BAX is 5X minus 25. CAX, 3X plus 5. Find X and BAX. Equation, please. Equation, please. 15. Kevin, equation. Uh, 5x minus 25 equals 3x plus 5. We're okay. Solve it. X equals 15. Part one of two done, right? Go ahead, plug it in for BAX. Five times twenty five minus twenty five. Or fifteen, why don't you settle down? All right. You guys think you know it all, your honors kids, huh? One job, Mr. Carlino, one job. Teach at an honors level, right? And we end up with fifty degrees. How's that sound? I get that right. All right, good. Uh, before I let you get going, because you have uh, 20 minutes, half the class to do the homework, I want to make sure this happens every year when kids do this homework, when students do the homework assignment. So I just want to make sure you are aware of something in your homework tonight. Let me just bring up the page here. What page you guys have? What is it there? 4142. Thank you. Yeah, this one right here. You guys have something that's from 37 to 42? Right? Okay, be careful. Hey. Two things when you get to this problem. Everyone take a look at my diagram specifically. 
All right. The set, first thing they're giving you those two angles are what? Congruent. Congruent. Make sure you're aware of that. And in addition to that, read the directions. It's also saying BH bisects angle EBC. Okay. Angle B E B C. So anybody first, let's go over what angles are congruent here. Let me move through this first. Uh, shoot. Where is it? Yes, there you go. Okay, so I'm already given by the diagram, those two angles are the same measure. And if EBC is getting bisected by BH, anybody want to tell me another two pair that are equal? BH is getting is bisecting angle EBC. What are the two angles that are congruent then, Kevin? CBH and EBH. CBH and EBH. So everyone ready? These two and those two are congruent. Okay? So make sure you when you get to this is going to be a little bit tough, but I want to make sure everyone was aware they gave you two angles congruent and in the directions they're telling you another pair and it's these pair right here. All right? All right, go ahead. Get get rolling. Yep. I did it. Okay, well, Absolutely, man. Yep. Did you check your answers? Yeah. Okay. Let's make sure you guys check your answers. Do tomorrow, everybody. Do tomorrow this homework. Unit test Tuesday. And you will, without a doubt, need your compass on Friday. Okay, because that's all we're doing in class on Friday is more constructions. I know that you're happy about that.